Art on Canvas meets Music Denim in an exhibition by Bright Eagle and Ifai Anene. They experiment with different styles using everyday materials. A colorful walk of art greets the guests as they go into the hall to take in what these artists have to display in this exhibition tagged Art on Canvas Meets Music Denim by Bright Eagle and Anne Nefai, who approach this show using their individual styles that convey strong messages revealed in over 30 images and installations. Yeah. Bright Eagle is an art graduate from the University of Nigeria in Suka popularly called Be Elect by fans who know him as a rapper, some of them would be amazed to see another side of him, visual art. Little wonder that he's making music on canvas. His artistic style is pop culture influence, which he calls music denim, is based on using elements of the jeans material, old vinyls, cassette tapes and traditional media like acrylic and oil and canvas, which is obvious in this collection. We decided to make it like a little like interesting clash title. So art on canvas, which is basically what we're doing here. There's art on canvas, paintings, uh, art jeans pieces, broken records, cassettes, and things like that on canvas. Meets music and denim. So music denim is what I do, and art on canvas is basically what we are doing. So we decided to give it that title so we could fuse it together and people will understand the elements of what we're doing. From that explanation, one can tell he's an experimental artist who is part of the school of thought that believes that art should be functional. Yeah. He does it not only through installations, but with the message as conveyed in this mixed media work of art with blue hues and a dot of the jeans material. I say what's got more so than a pair of jeans? You know, it's always usable, however you use it. Sometimes your jeans is even dirty, you call up in it. So it's just a metaphor for how we are able to pass through the ruggedness, the streets and the swag. So that's what basically what inspired me. We shove it, trying to get a piece on. Soldier go, soldier calm. It's crazy how we carry on. He prefers blue hues to push home his blue jeans theme works. The ruggedness of jeans is used as a metaphor to talk about the resilient spirit of the Nigerian who keeps pushing on no matter the odds. If you look at it, you have words like, why you they wash me, tough times don't last. You have words like, uh, phrases like, watch recession, and um, kakino be jeans, things like that. So I use that to express exactly what it is that Nigerians are feeling right now. We are actually feeling a lot of, you know, the toughness and all that, but it shows that we are tough. You know, this Nigerian spirit is very, very tough. It's very resilient. Wherever we go, we, whatever is happening to us, we always look for a way out. People are always looking for that way to source out, find out something that they, they can use to get through their day out of what is going on. And it's all about the strength of the genes. People say khaki is stronger than jeans, but he feels it's rugged and he has been able to interpret that in art. So most of the things you see about Bright's work are music and art put together. And uh, he's come up with some very incredible concepts. He has not forgotten the flood victims in Benway State, which is done to support the resettlement course. Um, it's called Displace, but not Misplace. And um, I, I'm sure Bright never knew this thing is going to happen. And that's to tell you that before things happen, they happen in another realm. Yeah. Aswane Nefai, he cut his teeth as a psychology graduate from the University of Lagos. But his passion for understanding the human mind went beyond what he learned in the four walls of a classroom. The need for expression led him to develop a skill he already possessed and he became a visual artist. Yeah. 
This gave him the release he desired. That's why the viewer can notice that his images are figurative as he tries to unravel the mysteries of the human mind and how the environment has influenced people. It's been wonderful. The, the impression is, is wow. Bright is very, very creative. He finds himself is another mind buster. I have had so much fun. I've seen infusion, I've seen um, use of medias before that I've never seen before used in art. I've seen it here. He sees art as a mirror and tries to capture a more vivid image in his paintings, which zooms into issues and situations that shape a people and society. Notice how he has captured Lagos, the culture seen in this Ayo masquerade piece, the transportation via the commercial buses. Pieces that I've seen today are just amazing, totally amazing. The idea that you can use denim to make art is something that is very fresh you know i don't think i've seen anything like that in nigeria and then um using m music as a backdrop for art also is something that has not really been done in nigeria um i wish that bright would do more regarding that because I, there's a lot to catalog that art can tell art can tell us um can give us timelines in our history and that's what art should do. For him, telling a story has never been difficult. His pool of thought splashes out on his canvas, which are usually large images on various mixed media done with palette knives and flat brushes. Oh. Yeah. From love to hit in the frost, love in the fast lane. It was nice. The These clock. artists create works using materials and subjects in an environment which may not have the best infrastructure, but it shows that ingenuity is not in short supply in Nigeria. It was different. Nice talk with them sweet lips and the split a brother could have never think. World is poor. I like jeans anytime, any day. Who knew it could be used to create art? Interesting and really creative, I must say. And that's something our Artist of the Week is renowned for. Born in Agboye, or your state, on December the 25th, 1921, Adebayo Faleti had a knack for the arts as a child and tried his best to get an education, even though the arts were against him. His parents did not have much, but he weathered the storm and went to school from the University of Dakar in Senegal, where he obtained a certificate of proficiency in French language and civilization. To the University of Ibadan, or your state, with an honors degree in literature in English. A man of many firsts, first newscaster, stage play director, film editor and Liberian with the first television station in Africa, that's WNTV, WNBS, and Nigeria's first Yoruba presenter on television, a poet and an actor. He was known as a Yoruba translator and was responsible for translating Nigeria's national anthem from English to Yoruba. He also translated speeches from English to Yoruba for Nigeria's former leaders, from Abafemi Awolowo to Ibrahim Barbangida, Ernest Shoneko. Faleti has published a dictionary containing the formal or official use of Yoruba names. He received many awards, both locally and internationally, including the National Honor of the Officer of the Order of the Niger at OON, the Festival of Arts Award in 1995, and the Afro Hollywood Award for Outstanding Performance in the Art in the United States. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Adebayo Faleti was a bundle of talent, and I thank God he stayed long enough and was able to share his knowledge with others before he left us. That's the program this week. Thank you so much for watching. Let's hook up online on any of our platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlani.